All right, thank you, Chase. Now to a story you'll only see here on ABC Big 2 News at 6. Alyssa Adair is a living miracle after she was told she would never recover when a tree branch fell on her head during a church camp and paralyzed her. Today, she's speaking out 20 years since that accident. Our Rachel Hallam joins us now live in studio with more on this exclusive story. And Rachel, Alyssa wouldn't be where she is today without the support of her family. When she was only 10 years old, Alyssa Adair was told she would never be able to walk again after this accident. Now she is functioning better than anyone could have ever imagined, all because of the support she has from her family and friends. And since the accident, she has participated in many pageants across Texas. And today she is speaking out on her experience to teach others to never give up. On July 1st, 2003, I was at church camp for the first time ever, and a tree branch fell and crushed my skull. Midlander Alyssa Adair was only 10 years old when she faced her biggest battle. When her skull was crushed and she was paralyzed, she was told by doctors there was no chance at recovery. Now, 20 years later, she has overcome the impossible. Crazy, I mean, wow. I, I really can't believe it. I was 10 years old and how far I've come is incredible. It, you know, I mean, the doctor said, tell my parents the estimate was I die or be vegetable, but God and I said no. It took a lot of courage and motivation to get where she is now. God and I had other plans. Since then, I have overcome the impossible and relearned how to move every muscle in my body over again, from my eyes, my tongue, of course, on her arms and legs. I had never given up. And I just focused on what I have and not what I lost. And she couldn't do it without the love and support from her loved ones. My family and my friends have been incredible. They have encouraged me the entire time and challenged me in every every aspect. Especially her fiance. He has been an amazing uh, amazing man. He has just challenged me in every aspect. Also, I've gotten stronger and better in ways that I don't know were possible because he's challenged me and he's loved me through, you know, he loves me for me. After her accident, she decided to go into pageantry and show others she can do anything anyone else can because she has the confidence in herself. You know, I was just so proud of who I was and that I, I could walk. I, can, I, I continue doing pageants and it was the hardest thing i ever done in my life. The first pageant, Miss Texas USA, I was like, never again. But God um, opened doors for more and more pageants. Each pageant, I kept getting stronger and faster. And um, I got to meet so many people and share my story so many, so many times. Inspired all so many lives. It's such a blessing that what God has done through these pageants. She said she wants to use her story to motivate others to be themselves and never give up. So you just got to be proud of who you are and what you have. And don't ever give up. No matter how hard or impossible the situation seems, God does the impossible. And now she just wants to continue to get stronger herself while also helping others get stronger along the way. The fact my story has on them, what, what God's done and his faithfulness is incredible. I just love that God has used, I chose to use, use this horrible accident for his glory and not to give up. Adair is now using her experience to inspire others, and she has become a motivational speaker since then. If you want to contact her at any point, you can find her information right now on our website. Reporting live in studio, Rachel Hallam, ABC Big 2 News. Awesome story there. Thank you, Rachel. And as she said, you can find more information on yourbasin.com. There you can also check out some of the other exclusive stories Rachel's covered.